My colleague Pragya spoke to Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri, who took a jibe at the Congress boycotting the inauguration of the new parliament building. Now, he said the Congress should first do a fact check before taking any boycott decisions. Let's listen in. 19 opposition parties are saying they'll boycott the inauguration of parliament. Uh, Congress also saying that, you know, we, have, we are well within our rights to boycott it because the protocols are not being followed. Dekhe, dekhe. Who, who attends which function, who boycotts, that's a decision which everyone has to take. But, you know, for heaven's sake, let's get our facts right. Let us get our facts right. What are the facts? Facts are, as I said a few days ago, and I'm going to give you a listing here. Former Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru laid the foundation of the Karnatak Vidhan Sabha. Governor of Karnatak, Jobi the us time, unhone ki uni kia. Ye Prime Minister Nehru ki baat kar raun. Former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi inaugurated the Maharashtra Vidhan Bhavan in 1981. Unhone ki uni usko boycott kia. He said the new building close to the Mantralaya was inaugurated by former Prime Minister, the late Mrs. Indira Gandhi, on April 19, 1981. Former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi laid the foundation of the Parliament Library Building 87. Former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi inaugurated the Parliament House Annexe on 24th August 75. Former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, Sunlo Ye, former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh and Shrimati Sonia Gandhi inaugurated the new assembly complex in Manipur. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Prime Minister, they could inaugurate them. They say, but you don't change the library and annex in the parliament. Look, it's a very simple thing. If they made the parliament, they could inaugurate them. Now, Mamta Gandhi's great-grandson, Tushar Gandhi, has waded into the controversy over the inauguration of the new parliament. Now, he urged the central government to name the new parliament house as Savarkar Sadan. He also said the centre must rename the central hall and Shamakash since Savarkar has apologised to Britishers six times and the inauguration of the new parliament will be taking place on the birth anniversary of Veer Savarkar. Listen in. भारत के प्रधानमंत्री नया नई लोकसभा की इमारत का राष्ट्र समर्पण करने जा रहे हैं 28 मई वीडी सावरकर की जन्म जयंती भी है और मेरा मानना है कि प्रधानमंत्री ने सोच समझकर ये तारीख चुनी है भारतीय लोकतंत्र का जो मंदिर है उसका उसका जनसम समर्पण कार्यक्रम के लिए मैंने एक ट्वीट किया था जिसमें मैंने प्रधानमंत्री से विनती की थी कि क्योंकि उनके आराध्य देव देव सावरकर की जन्म जयंती को उन्होंने चुना है तो नए संसद भवन का नाम भी वो सावरकर सदन ही रखे और क्योंकि सावरकर ने एक बार नहीं छह छह बार अंग्रेज सल्तनत से क्षमा याचना की थी इसलिए सेंट्रल हॉल का नाम उक्षमा कक्ष रखें ताकि सावरकर की याद और उनके कार्य को ये मुल्क हमेशा के लिए याद रख सके ये मेरी प्रधानमंत्री से प्रार्थना है और